Hi. As I mentioned in the previous video, the house was almost ready to start pulling cables in. And, well, I'm glad to be getting to the actual networking part of these, this home networking series. So, last weekend, we started pulling the first cables. So, this is going to be a multi-part video tutorial series where we, uh, we take you along uh, while we pull all the cables through the house. And this first video will be, well, basically about what do you need? What equipment do you need? What kind of cable do you need uh, to actually wire up your house for high-speed networking? Actually, we're not going to talk about the cable. The cable I got is CAT7, but the, what kind of network cable to get is a whole discussion on itself. So I'll do another video about that for people who are interested in this. And if you're not, you can just skip it. So the first thing you need while pooling network cables through your home is a second person. Pooling cables really can't be done by yourself. And although it's called pooling cables, most of the time you'll actually be pushing and pulling the cables through the pipes because otherwise they just won't even go through or you'll just snap off the pooling wire from the actual cable you're trying to get through the pipe. So let's, uh, let's take a look at all the equipment we're going to use. So after the second person you need, the next things you're going to need are two fold-up chairs and a broomstick. I bet you didn't expect that. We didn't either, but if you get networking cables on big spools like I have, I have two times 500 meters. Uh, be mindful when buying cable. If you want to run two cables through the single pipe, you need two spools to be able to do that. If you get one big one of, for instance, a thousand meters, um, well, you won't be able to pull them through at the same time. You have to pre-cut the lengths and you'll run into all kinds of trouble. So because we have these two big wooden rolls of cable, uh, you need a way to, well, basically roll the cable off it. Uh, you, you can lay them on the ground and unwind them, but the wire will get twisted because it wasn't wound on the spool that way which also means the cable will go in twisted, which will make your job very much harder than it needs to be. So, to get around this problem and not have to buy two cable rollers of $100 each, we looked for a DIY easy cable roller solution. And there were some out there, but I think, well, I think we did a pretty good job with our two fold-up chairs and a broomstick. Um, so how do you put this together? Well, that's quite easy. You basically set up the two folding chairs and then thread the broomstick through the two uh, spools. And I put a piece of, uh, or a roll of tape in the middle so that the two rolls don't rub together too much because uh, that would hinder their rolling. <laughs> And then I basically place both ends of the broomstick on the chair. In my case, the chairs had a little triangle, which meant that I could uh, slot the broomstick through those triangles on each end, which actually made a pretty sturdy construction. When you start pulling cables like this, you'll, you'll understand why this is a vital component of the setup. And I'm not saying it's impossible without it, but it, it makes your job a lot easier and not having those cables go in twisted it, it's just it makes a world of difference so moving on from our diy easy cable roller solution we have several other components we need first get a pair of gloves or actually you probably need two pairs of gloves for the other second person who's helping you I also added a pair of safety glasses because in my case I need to thread the cables into the pipes above me and while doing so uh, grit and dust and all kinds of stuff can fall down 
And, well, I don't like getting those in my eyes, so might be a good tip. Next, you'll need a roll of good tape. If you're only threading through one wire, I don't think you have to have the tape. It's good to have some tape anyway. But if you're using two wire, or if you want to get two wires in the, in the same pipe, um, be sure to have some tape there so that you can uh, tape the whole thing with the wires together. Because most of the time you can only attach one wire to the pooling wire, so you'll have to attach the second wire to the first wire. Or if you can actually attach it to the pooling wire, you'll probably end up with a big hump and you'd rather have two small humps than one big one. So get some, get some good tape. The blue roll you see in the picture is actually a roll of sticker tape. When pulling these wires, don't think you're going to remember which wire is what or where it went or that you'll figure it out later. You won't. You'll forget and you'll be, end up with a giant mess of cables which, of which you won't know what is going where and it'll make your life uh, a horrible mess. Or maybe not a mess, a living hell or whatever you want to call it. Just get some tape, pull through some wires, Put a little sticker on there and say where the wires went. It's, it'll save you a great deal of frustration later on. Next up is my big bottle of 3M lube. It, when pulling through two cables, it's already a bit of a bigger challenge, but to make sure that even for longer lengths and, you know, nasty bends somewhere or something like that, you get the cable through easy, get some lube. Lube up the cable before it goes in, It'll go smooth all the way and the loop will dry out after a while and easy cable pulling. Then I have some Velcro. Since I'm pulling two cables through each pipe after I'm done with pulling the cables, I Velcro them together so I know it's a pair. And in the end, I'll probably use bundle uh, cables from certain groups or certain pairs together and I also use Velcro. I did a video about Velcro a little while back. You can uh, check it out. Uh, Somewhere over here, there should be a little video playing. Just click on it through YouTube magic. You should be taken to my Velcro video. And you can learn a bit more about Velcro. Oh, don't forget, for the tape, you can most of the time you can tear it. But also for the Velcro, get a pair of scissors. Oh, well, we'll also use the pair of scissors to actually snip off the cable. Getting a, a, a heavy-duty pair of scissors or actually... A, uh, a snipping tool is also a good choice. Then, of course, you need a pooling wire. These pooling wires are especially constructed so that you can uh, easily thread them through the pipe to go to one end and then pull them back with the pipe on there to the other end. This is the metal kind and I got a 30 meter one. Uh, discuss with your electrician or if you put in the pipes yourself you'll probably know what the longest length is and I had a few long lengths so I opted for the 30 meters I tried the nylon versions they have nowadays but those I, I didn't really like it at all uh, so I'm using a metal one and that, that one's been serving us very well it has a hook on one end and yeah it's perfectly suited for the job last but certainly not least Get some Bluetooth headsets or walkie talkies or well, whatever you want. But you and the person you are doing this with will be in different rooms and even in different floors sometimes. And communication is key, especially when you get to the harder uh, pipes to pull the wire through. You need to push and pull together and you need to be able to communicate. So get some Bluetooth headsets. These are the Plantronics Voyager Edge. Uh, me and my girlfriend really love them, so we both have one. Check out my review about them here. So, communication is key. And that's basically it. If you have all these items and my DIY easy cable roller solution on hand, you're ready to start rolling your, or rolling, pulling your cables through the pipes. So in the next video, we'll show you that we're actually pulling the cables through the pipes. And in future videos, we'll talk about uh, what kind of cable you need, how to terminate them, how to get them in a patch panel, how to set up the whole rack, everything like that. But those are, that's all in the future. So I hope you found this information useful. Please uh, 
like this video give me a comment if you have some comments or just want to say awesome or if you want to say man this really sucked give it a dislike i like likes more but you know you figure it out and uh, subscribe if you want to see more and i hope to see you back in future videos awesome i almost forgot there's also an associated blog post in the description below check it out for a list form of all the items you need and some pictures and stuff to go along with the video.